Hi, I'm Charlie. Charlie. And Charlie. In episode five, uh, we're going to cover some of the frustrations that I have had as a uh, new learner to Da Vinci, and uh, come up with the results uh, how I solved them. So let's get started. We will be covering uh, uploading fonts, how to use the Da Vinci reference manual, uh, finding the proxy generator, uh, the use of collaboration and how to get your projects out of the cloud to put them on your local hard drives. My frustration with this concept is based on uploading a font called Timeline. Each time I uploaded it and installed it to my computer's font library, it did not show in the DaVinci program. When you click on the arrow on the uh, to select the fonts, I went down the line to see if Timeline, which is one of the uh, fonts that I wanted to download was in the system. And as you can see by this list, it goes uh, Times, Times Roman, and it's not there. So I went ahead to go to uh, uh, DA Fonts and uh, download one. Uh, this is a screenshot of what the Timeline font looks like uh, when downloaded from that site. As you can see by this uh, screenshot, this is from my downloads menu. Uh, it comes in as a zip file, expand it, and then it's um, the TTF file is the one that you want to double click on uh, to bring it into your font library for the computer that you're working with. When I downloaded this before, uh, what happened is that it didn't show up in my library and it caused me a lot of difficulty because I couldn't find out where it was. So I shut off the program, restarted it. And when I looked down uh, the line, there it was, timeline was there. So I couldn't really uh, show what really frustrated me more. I have a client in my uh, consulting business that uh, when things go wrong with computers or in programs when they're developing them, if things are going wrong, he says this to his family as well. If it doesn't work, restart your device. Let's take a look at the reference manual. Nice cover, but look at the number of pages, 4,140. I wanted to determine how to minimize the time for scrolling text. So I typed into the search window, scroll text. My results were zero. I then deleted the word text to see if anything would come up. The search resulted in 68 pages of documents to look for a scroll. I thought that that was way too much, so I'm not going to dig into that. Several ways to <clears throat> generate a, a proxy. Uh, let's take a look at uh, the, one of the easier ones anyway at this point for me is to open up your uh, DaVinci, uh, go up in the top. And in this case, I've got these listed um, in as file names instead of uh, pictures like this. It's just a little bit easier for me to see all the data. And then the right click on it and go down to below this one here and it says generate proxy media. And that will go ahead and generate it, but it does it while you're working on other parts of your DaVinci app. So another method to uh, do this is to first go to applications and you can see in this window, there's Blackmagic Raw. And then right here is the Blackmagic Proxy Generator. That is a separate application and opens up um, in your window. After you open up the Proxy Generator, uh, you'll see uh, this window. Uh, I've zoomed in a little bit for it, but this is the file you add. It says it's waiting to be uh, uh, processed select how you want it to be processed and hit the start button and you can see it's starting to process there. Uh, this will go on in the background, which is a very nice feature uh, to be added to even the free uh, part of uh, DaVinci. I promised uh, two uh, more segments, uh, but I've had some difficulties with black magic. So the two that are left uh, to uh, go through our collaboration, uh, getting projects out of the cloud. Uh, what has happened is that I can't quite uh, figure out how to get uh, my projects into the program and my uh, DaVinci has crashed uh, more than a few times. So 
Uh, hope you'll tune in uh, to the next one and I'll cover uh, collaboration and getting things out of the cloud when I learn how to do it and successfully uh, keep my program from crashing. Uh, then um, we'll certainly uh, probably add another one.